you were back in the hood, but if you had you with me this evening, I gotta have the cool music to start with. It's less than two weeks left in the NBA season, and while teams like the Rockets, Warriors, and Raptors are girding for a playoff run, even though the Celtics may not be having that much of a run with the injury of Kyrie Irving, you also have teams like the Bucks, who just clinched last night. Timberwolves, Jazz, and Pelicans scrambling for dwindling playoff spots. But then you also have teams on the other end. I give you the 21 and 56 Memphis Grizzlies. A team at one time it was 5 and 1. That means they went 16 and 55. <coughs> Excuse me. And have had 11 and 19 game losing streaks. But they are not the worst team in the NBA. I give you the 22 and 56 Atlanta Hawks. Weren't they a playoff team last year? They won 60 games as recently as 2015. I give you the 23 and 54 Orlando Magic. A team who just beat the aforementioned Hawks to end a seven game losing streak themselves. But, scraping the bottom of the barrel, I give you the 20 and 59 Phoenix Suns. They just broke a franchise worst 15 game losing streak Tuesday night by beating, wait for it, the 25 and 54 Sacramento Kings. The Suns' last win before that losing streak was against the Grizzle, baby. They started out with a 124 to 76 humiliation loss at the hands of the Portland Trailblazers, and then the next night let Lonzo Ball, Lonzo Ball for crying out loud, get a triple-double in only his second NBA game, thus fueling the loud mouth of the South, LeVar Ball, saying his boy was going to be such a great team. Whatever happened to the Lakers anyway? Oh, well, that's neither here nor there. Don't think that my uh, poor Timberwolves are ruining the fact that three of their losses have been to the Grizzlies and the Suns. I think they won't be wanting those wins back with this playoff scramble. I'm trying to clinch their first playoff burst since 2004, but I digress. <clears throat> I'm calling on Adam Silver. Yes, Commissioner Silver, I'm speaking to you. What are you going to do about these teams' abject tanking? I'm not talking about Devin Booker, the, the fine player for the Phoenix Suns, who is averaging close to 23 points a game and should be getting paid rightfully as a free agent to be. But it seems like these teams, the Suns, the Hawks, the Magic, the Mavericks, the Grizzlies, teams that are not just playing out the string, but playing down to expectations, playing so bad, for what? A shot at a Marvin Bagley? Or Malik, Duman, du, uh, Malik Newman of Duke or Can Kansas, respectively. Bagley from Duke, Newman from Kansas. But what are they looking for? A franchise changing player? There's no franchise changers in this in this class. There's no LeBron James. There's no Wilt Chamberlain. Larry Bird is not walking through that door. These teams are tanking for what? For what reason? So they don't have to pay players? So they don't have to be contenders? Something needs to be done about that. And that right soon. Let's change gears here and talk a little baseball. Why did baseball start before Easter? I don't understand that. Now, the weather in the Hoodwood has been all over the place. 60 degrees today. Yesterday it was snowing. I had to scrape snow off my car. Two days before that, it was 70 degrees. I kid you not. 72 degrees. Two days before that, it was drizzly and rainy. And the Reds only got 10,000 people. They only got 10,000 people at Great American Ballpark on Easter Sunday. Why did the Pirates and Twins play a doubleheader on Easter Sunday because they got rained out or snowed out in Detroit. Why is Major League Baseball holding games before the 1st of April? Someone please explain this to me. And don't say, oh, because the players negotiated 
having more off days. Sure, the players play 162 games over the course of 181 days. But they don't play back-to-back-to-back games in different cities on different nights like pro basketball players do. Three and five. Yeah, they play five games in a week. Five to six games a week. But they get into a city and they settle in that city for a couple of days. Three, four days at a time. If you ever traveled, ever been somewhere, you stay three or four days in a, in a city, you get used to it. You get in its rhythms. I don't buy the fact that Major League Baseball players need more quote-unquote days off. And the days off they're taking off is weird. Why were teams taking Sunday off? I know it was Easter Sunday. But why were teams taking t- day, that day off? Why are teams not playing on Friday? There are teams that are not going to be playing tomorrow. Why? The days that teams are not needing to be playing, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even a Monday I can see. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday should be the big money days where people, where kids can get to the ballpark and not have to worry about staying up late. They're changing times of the baseball games. 6.40 starts. Weird times. I remember when baseball games used to be starting at 8 o'clock. No one complained about it then. One of the first games I went to see as a youngster. The Reds and the Astros playing over Riverfront Stadium. Tom Seaver versus J.R. Richard. Now that was a, a classic ball game. But the Reds won that game 9-8. to eight. Game started at 8.05. I had to be in school that next day. Didn't affect me any. But it was a memorable time. What is baseball doing with their scheduling? Their schedules make absolutely no sense. I was complaining about cold weather and weather all over the place. One place that's definitely warm is in Georgia. It's where the Masters is going on right now in Augusta. They teed off and Sergio Garcia doing nothing to retain his Masters title going 13 on one hole that will not get him anywhere near another gold another green jacket i don't say gold jacket that was in uh happy gilmore but no another green jacket may not be going sergio garcia's way excuse me and people wonder if it if tiger woods can recapture the magic one can one can only hope that he can reach back into the, into the way back machine and do it one more time. One part one I remember is when he was a young buck. Was that 20 years ago? Yeah, it was. 1997 where the young dominant Tiger Woods absolutely burned through the Augusta National Golf Course setting a record that still has yet to be broken. Everybody remembers his 2000 Open Championship win at uh, the legendary St. Andrews Golf Course. He romped and stomped, increasing his lead all rounds under 70. Winning by eight strokes since 269, still stands as a course record. His 19 under par was a major championship record until Jason Day went for 20 under at the 2015 PGA Championship. Woods was men's pro golf for a while. As much iconic as iconoclastic, Woods was the definition of dominant. And after winning winning his 14th major, pretty much on one leg in 2008, <clears throat> Woods looked like he was going to be closing in on 2000. I'm sorry, and, and, and he would look like he'd be closing in on 18 majors that was held by Jack Nicholas. But his fall was long and hard after surgeries, marital problems. And life on the tabloid sheets, the fall was long and hard. And many people wondered if Tiger Woods would be any good. Tiger Woods has won a golf tournament in over four years. He has been pretty much out of major contention for that long. Tiger Woods is 42. And people wonder, has the game passed him by? With younger, hungrier players like J. 
Jason Day, Rory McIlroy, um, Sergio Garcia, who is playing his way out of it, I spoke of earlier, but with younger, hungrier players on the tour, one has to wonder if the game is past Woods by. Now, I'm not saying he can't win it. Jack Nichols won the Masters in 1986 at the age of 46, winning his legendary sixth Masters. Everybody remembers the call of Vern Lundquist going, yes, sir, as he he dropped a a putt to put him in the lead to win that sixth Masters. He was 46. Can Tiger pull out one more Magic weekend? It wouldn't surprise me to see him playing in the final group on Sunday. Though he started out the day one over and in 29th place. I hope he makes a cut. I hope he's playing this weekend. Fat Dab Head Slap is on deck. Stay close.